Many couples strive to marry someone they have a lot in common with. But when it comes to similarities, the Garzas are hard to beat. We're both born the same day, the same year, we're the same hospital. Now this Austin couple is about to share a kidney too. To be, you know, a match was like another, another <laughs> page in the story. That's Robert, Elsa's husband of 20 years. He planned to donate his kidney to his wife back in April to help keep her from going on dialysis. Elsa suffers from an autoimmune disease that she says recently started attacking her kidneys. And with delays in the surgery due to the coronavirus, time wasn't on her side. My GFR, my numbers were dropping pretty uh, fast, pretty dramatically. So I was uh, hanging by a thread. I think one of the main worries we had in her case and, and many of our cases where we postponed was, was hoping we could resume an elective case, you know, with utmost safety before dialysis started. That's Jennifer Milton. She's the chief administrative officer for the University Health System Transplant Center in San Antonio. She says dialysis can take a toll on the body and later impact the success of the transplant. Good news for them, earlier this month, the governor's restrictions on elective surgeries expired. That means this mother of two is going to have her surgery in time. And getting this kidney holds even more meaning because of who it's from. It means a lot. Um, Mary, my soulmate, uh, it gives me an opportunity to enjoy the rest of my journey with my husband. You know, he's given me a, a second chance of life. In Austin, Kayla Norwood, KVU News.